my next guest tonight is an outspoken Democratic supporter who has spent the last few weeks campaigning for Vice President Al Gore. Here with his take on this big election mass, please welcome Al Franken. <laughs> I'm hoping that you will explain all of this to me and to all of us, because we're confused. It's a mess. It's a big mess. It's a mess. Uh, we don't know who's going to be our next president. Mm -hmm. um, but when it's decided, right. whoever it is, we should all get behind that man. Right. Uh, you know, I'm for Gore, but if it's Bush, we should just get behind him, even though, you know, he was a business failure and a drunk till he was 40 and <laughs> clearly did coke you know but the people you know the people will have spoken and uh you know just you know yeah. i hate him and he's an idiot but <laughs> the, the point is you get behind him whoever it is get behind him whoever it is now what do you think about this all this debate about the butterfly ballot mm -hmm. the mistaken votes that people made in, in a Florida county for Buchanan. They, they voted for Buchanan, they did not intend to. Those yes, were meant to be governments. Yes, this is in uh, uh, Palm Beach County. Mm -hmm. And a lot of old Jews um, <laughs> thought, uh, left, left the booth thinking they voted for Gore and now think they may have voted for Buchanan. And I live on the Upper West Side of New York, which is very Jewish. And a number of my friends gotten calls like from their parents saying, I think I voted for Hitler. <laughs> you know, I, I, you know, Jeez. so Not like Hitler. there's, there's uh, well, even Buchanan right. has said, look, these votes clearly were that I got there were if they were intent, they were clearly intended for Gore. He should get them, and there's right. no higher moral authority, of course, than uh, Buchanan. <laughs> and uh, so I think they should let these people, you know, vote again and quickly before a lot of them are going to die <laughs> very, very quickly. You know? And I was talking to Adam about this. He was obsessing. Adam Sandler? Yeah, about the election. And uh, uh, in fact, he's going to do his next movie. is going to be very political. It's going to be about a guy who's very alienated mm -hmm. uh, from the political process. So he, he pisses on a lot of the monuments. <laughs> That's the movie. And then he falls in love and grows up. So <laughs> okay. It should be a big hit. <laughs> now, what about Gore? Should Gore press on? People are going to be pressuring Gore. Mm -hmm. Do the do the uh, uh, you know the good thing and, and just bow out at some point. People might start to pressure him. Should he keep going? Well, you know they talk about like Kennedy in 1960 or Nixon in 1960. You know didn't protest what happened in because that was Chicago. very close. Yeah, yeah, very different time. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, in, in 1960 and 60s, you could have uh, the president could have sex in the White House. <laughs> so it's a totally different age. So there's really <laughs> really no comparison. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, the times are, we can't compare. But you know, the, 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 actually, we, we can't, we're not going to know for a while because they have to wait for these overseas absentee ballots. Right. And a lot of people assume that these are, the, the Bush people are saying, well, these are military votes, military people are very conservative. It's just that I did a USO tour last year and I went to Bosnia and Kosovo. And a lot of the people, you know, Antoine Jones, mm -hmm. you know, private, is not your typical country club Republican. So there's right. going to be. Right. And also, a lot of these, uh, a lot of, of these overseas ballots come from spies. <laughs> uh, a lot of, you think a spy vote really could change well, things? Well, people don't realize this, but uh, a lot of spies mm -hmm. have Florida residency because uh, winter. <laughs> Sure. Winter is the off month for spies, <laughs> and spies are notorious uh, ticket splitters because <laughs> uh, they're fiscally conservative, mm -hmm. uh, but socially uh, liberal. Like, right. uh, for example, uh, James Bond, mm -hmm. very, very, very pro-choice. <laughs> it's true. Uh, whoever wins, whoever wins, mm -hmm. do you think these people are ready for the job? Uh, you know, Bush, Gore, are they ready to assume the mantle well, of... okay, let's look at him. Uh, Gore, when he was 22, graduated uh, from Harvard, went to Vietnam, even though he was against the war, because he knew someone else from his town would have to go. Bush, uh, his father got him in the Air National Guard, and he didn't go for 17 months. Uh, when he was 30, Gore was uh, a congressman. Uh, Bush, uh, drunk. Uh, <laughs> 
Uh, 30, 35, Gore was a senator. Bush still drunk. Um, all, you know, failure, uh, losing money for his father's friends. Uh, someone put it, uh, um, here was a guy who couldn't find oil in Texas. <laughs> but whoever it is, uh -huh. we should get behind him. <laughs> Do you, do you, before we go, do you think that, that the, some uh, pundits were saying that the race was so close, Bush was ahead in the polls just before the election, that the, it, and it, it drew so close, some people think that the drunk driving, uh, you know, uh, well, actually, arrest uh, from, for, mm -hmm. maybe have affected their, from 1976 may have affected the election. That might not have even been fair, mm -hmm. if you go back that, because evidently, and I've heard this, that the, the sobriety test, he may not have been drunk, because the sobriety test in Maine at that time was pronounced subliminal. <laughs> so he may not he may not have been actually drunk uh, at the time right <laughs> oh Al thank you very much for your fair and balanced well, yes. view of and whoever of it is get behind even if he's an idiot <laughs> Al Frank and everybody we'll be right back with Badly Drawn Boy All right, everybody, that's our show for tonight. I do want to thank all my guests. Stay tuned for later, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Maybe we'll have a president, maybe not. We'll see what happens. Bye. <laughs>